Hey everyone, it's Danny with uh, Denver Print House here. I just got the new Spider 3 from X Island and I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to use. I've got the registration system on here that matches the presses, which make it really easy to lock in. As you can see, it just locks in with a foot pedal. Right now, we're printing the underbase for the first design that we have next up on deck. I'm gonna flip the screen around once it's done printing and then print the underbase for the next design. That's one nice thing about this system is you can gain multiple designs together. That's done. Flip it around. Lock it in. Hit print. And that's gonna be our next design. These will both be white underbases. The Spider 3, it uses 1200 by 1200 resolution, which is the highest in its class. And that's one reason why I went with this unit here is because we do a lot of fine half tone work. And that 1200 by, 1200 by 1200 resolution gets us really, really good tones. This particular design is just a spot color design. So it's done. Now I'll put it in the blue box. We'll expose it in here for 25 seconds and then be done. The main difference between the Spider 2 and the Spider 3 is resolution, as Danny mentioned. Uh, the Spider 3 is 1200 by 1200 DPI. Spider 2 is 600 by 600 DPI. Uh, for the textile printing industry, the Spider 2 has been more than sufficient. We've got hundreds of machines out. You can do up to 65 LPI uh, really, really well with the Spider 2. If you want to print finer detail, then you know the Spider 3 is the machine we'd recommend. At 1200 by 1200 DPI, you can go up to about 100 LPI on your frequency uh, fairly easily, which, you know, again, may be a little overkill, but it also prints better image quality at 55 LPI, 45 LPI, regardless of what frequency you print your shirts at. Um, as Danny had mentioned, another big difference is you have an XYZ movement on the Spider 3, so there's a laser inside the printhead mechanism. So the first thing that that the machine does when, when the printhead comes across is it shoots a laser to the surface of the screen and it automatically adjusts the printhead distance between the screen and, 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 the, uh, and the printhead. Whereas the Spider 2 uh, is just an XY movement. So you have an X movement across and the screen goes up and down on the Y movement. And when our techs come in and set the machine up, which we do on every machine, um, we will pre-adjust, there's a knob on the front, we'll pre-adjust the distance between the printhead and the screen. Uh, the Spider 2, because of that extra movement, may print a little bit faster than the Spider 3, but the resolution is about half. Uh, another big difference between the two is we use an electronic linear rail to drive the X movement, so to drive the printhead. So what I like about this system so much is the four-point registration system that NHM uses. No matter who is locking a screen into this system, it's going to be the same every time. If you don't lock it in properly, like this, it just won't lock in. So, you can see it'll lock in the same every single time, which is really what makes this system be very great with the, the presses out there. Right now we're going to go print our next color of the job. And what's really fantastic about this is we already printed our underbase. We'll go put that on our first print head. We print that color, we flash it, and then every other color we put on top of that underbase, it's gonna register right, you know, exactly perfect to that base screen. Notice on the screen when we print, I don't print any data on it. So there's no registration marks, there's no job info, there's really nothing like that because we don't need it with this pre-registration system. Once this gets locked into the press, it's gonna be lined up exactly perfect. So again, I'm just using this screen. I'm sharing two different images on it. The images, the designs are the same exact colors. So 
so I'm able to save the screen and do any of this stuff. If you ever pop a screen on press or you need to make a, a change to your screen, it's really easy to come back here, drop the screen in, make the screen, spray it out, and go right to your press, and it's gonna line up the same as the original screen did. So you have a lot of flexibility with this system.